Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is spirit guide messages. So whatever your spirit guides need to talk to you about, that is the reading for today. Now for reading selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have an intuitive selection method chosen, you can go ahead and pause the video and make your choice and I'll see you in your reading. Now, for anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'm gonna start with a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release asking which reading is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. Now for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading one with the like attracts like card. All right, you are manifesting. You're always manifesting. So like attracts like, make sure you keep those thoughts positive. Now let's get a couple more spirit guide messages. All right, you also get calm is not a weakness and choose love over fear. Okay. Now, this is, this is basically saying that you're manifesting like attracts like. Keep that calmness with you. It's not a weakness. It is a strength. And choose love over fear. So when you encounter something that causes this fear reaction, choose love over fear. And, you know, throw love at the situation. Now, I'd like to see what out of tarot these spirit guide cards are referring to so angels spirit guides ancestors please speak to us out of the tarot with whatever messages you have for the best benefit of group number one all right so you got the eight of wands going with your like attracts like the three of cups so that's some celebration the knight of wands all right beautiful and the page of cups okay so the eight of wands talks about fast moving situations and fast moving spirit guide messages that's going with your like attracts like you're manifesting quickly so keep those thoughts positive now you're also manifesting celebrations. The Three of Cups is celebratory. It can even uh, represent pregnancy and birth, but it is it is a celebration card. So you're you're being told that 
like attracts like, so celebrate yourself. Calm is not a weakness. Now, that moves into the Knight of Wands. So, the Knight of Wands is a whirlwind romance. It is, you know, um, yeah, it's it's choosing love. There's There's a whirlwind romance somewhere. It's either with a person or with a thing. But you're being told to choose love over fear. So, if you're afraid of the intensity of this relationship, it's just because this other person is very passionate. So don't be afraid, choose love over fear. And then the page of cups comes out finally. That is, you know, fun, socializing, good times. So you are quickly moving into fun, socializing, and good times. You're also manifesting. So make sure you manifest what you want. Now, I would like to get you a Moonology card. So, Moonology. Expect powerful change. Okay. So, yeah, you need to expect powerful change because things are happening for you. You're moving into a very significantly more... Not organized, but uh, just you know, a fun time, a good time where you are not worried. You know, the, this, the fear you have in this Knight of Wands doesn't need to be there. This relationship, if it's a relationship, is going to be a whirlwind romance. And if it's a thing, it's going to be something that you love. So choose love over fear and you'll step into more celebrating. Now, I also want to get you a spell casting oracle. well-being all right so the spirit guides are coming to you and talking to you about this for your well-being you're being told that you're manifesting so keep those thoughts positive keep them celebratory celebrate your strengths calm is not a weakness so if you are one of those naturally calm people i get it i am too it's not a weakness it's giving you time to think Take the time to think, but step into this romance, whatever it's with. Choose love over your fear of it. And you will step into this page of cups, which is fun and socializing. And everything comes together for your well-being. Now, I would like to see what the Tiny Starseed deck has to add. So, spirit guides out of the Tiny Starseed deck, please. Alright, we'll start with Ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. You absolutely are. You can, can do this. Next, you get inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. That's what I'm talking about, about keeping those thoughts positive. Your internal mind affects your external world. So just, you know, stay calm. Remember, that's not a weakness and manifest what you want. Like attracts like, so focus on what you want to, what you want to have, what you desire to have, as though you already have it. Now, finally, we get love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. Yes, be uniquely you. Share the love that you have. This looks like a wonderful prediction that some of you are going to fall in love. Some of you are going to start a project that you absolutely love. It's going to bring you into these wonderful Page of Cups energies, which is celebrating and good times and, and you know, being with people that you really enjoy. And this Three of Cups, it's celebration. So this is saying, hey... Things are moving quickly. You're going to have things to celebrate. You might be a little bit afraid of it, but there's an opportunity coming for you either in romance or in something creative, and you're going to love it. It's going to move you into this page of cups. All right, so expect powerful change because it's coming. Thank you so much, group number one, for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with accept struggles as lessons. So yeah, we have to accept struggles as lessons. We're learning something. 
now let's get a couple more guide messages to see what they're talking about. All right, give without expectation and possess self-confidence. All right, so you're being told accept struggles as lessons, give of yourself freely, and possess self-confidence. Know that you can do what you're trying to do. Now, let's see what the tarot has to come out for group number two. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for the best benefit of group number two, please. Okay. You start with the page of swords. All right. Then the five of wands. The seven of wands. And the three of swords. Okay. So you guys are going through something right now. Like this is, uh, this is kind of a, a heavy energy. The page of swords talks about somebody paying too close of attention. That could be one of the struggles that you're encountering. Someone you work with maybe paying too close of attention to what you do. Um, the flip side of that is it could represent you if you're paying too much attention to like, you know, a, a social media for someone or something like that. That is uh, the page of swords. Now the five of wands is fighting. You are like, there's fighting going on in your life somewhere and you're being told to give without expectation. So you got to accept that this fighting is happening and you still have to give without expecting anything in return because that's who you are. You know, that's part of you shedding your light. Now, we also get the Seven of Wands, which means where you put your energy in this fighting, you will win. So possess self-confidence because it's coming through. Now, there will still be some heartbreak in this situation. Whatever situation this is for you, you know, some of you, this is, you know, your, your work life. Some of you, this is your home life. Um, we are going to get Oracle for your... Um, for your three of swords and see how you step out of it. I'd like a moon card for that three of swords. Moonology, please. It's time to take action. All right, it's time to step out of this heartbreak. You know, there's, there's a heartbroken feeling, but there's rising from the ashes as well. So you guys are, you're, you're putting your energy in. It's going to the right place. You are going to be victorious. There is some heartbreak for, for all of you right now. You know what the heartbreak is. It's different for everyone, but it's time to take action. It's time to step out of this heartbreak. It is time to do what you need to do to, um, to recover this. Now, let's see what the Spellcasting Oracle has to add to your reading. Talent. Okay. So many of you have a talent. Uh, some of you, some of the uh, the watching it has to do with your talent. Um, you're you're very gifted. You should follow what your heart leads you to. Now let's see what the little star seeds have to add. All right. You get choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Now, what else? Okay, I'll cut to them. Meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. Yeah, as you're dealing with whatever fighting is going on and you are having to put your energy into it, meditation is going to be the key. It's going to help you, one, possess this self-confidence, and two, it's going to help you center and figure out exactly where you need to use your energy. Now, finally, from the star seeds, you get gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Okay, so as you feel these heartbroken feelings, whatever they are for you, you know, some of you are struggling to, you know, do your talent, to, to show your talent to the world, and you're feeling heartbroken like you're not getting there. Remember, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. For everything you have, just start listing things you're grateful for, and it'll help draw you out of this um, sad 
depressed three of swords energy. All right, that is all I have for group number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three. Feel joy in all you do is your first message of the reading. So choose joy, feel joy. Now let's see what else the spirit guides have to say. So spirit guides for the best benefit of group number three, please. Have an attitude of gratitude and express your feelings. Okay, so you're told by your spirit guides to feel joy in everything you do. So let joy reign in, have an attitude of gratitude. So be thankful for all of the wonderful things you have and make sure you express your feelings. Don't hide your feelings. You've got to express them. You've got to move through them and let them go. So express those feelings. Now let's see what the tarot has to add. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors for the best benefit of group number three. Okay. All right, let's see here. You start with the Knight of Cups. All right, so some of you getting a proposal. Six of Cups, reminiscing, looking back. Here, let me spread these again so these will actually stand while we draw. All right. King of Wands. All right. So that looks really good. Now, you also get the Ace of Coins. Okay. So you're being told to feel joy in all you do. And some of you have a romantic or work proposal coming in that's going to bring you joy. Now, have an attitude of gratitude. That goes from the Six of Cups, which is reminiscing. It's seeing how far you've grown. It's seeing how far you've come. And then you also have the King of Wands, which is a very passionate energy. Um, very kind. Very, very strongly passionate. It can represent someone in your life. It can represent someone you're going to meet. Someone that you already know. Or it can represent you. That being said, it can also represent you starting something creative and you stepping into it and people really following you. Now, express your feelings, what your desires are, what your hopes and dreams are, express them, and you're gonna step into this new beginning. Now, Pentacles is a slow moving energy, so this may not happen overnight, but you do have the Ace of Coins coming out, which is the same as the Ace of Pentacles. And it, it's saying a new financial material beginning. You know, you're going to have a new beginning that kind of changes your financial status. So, yeah, step through all of this. It's beautiful. Now, let's get you a Moonology card. So, from Moonology... Balance spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. All right, yeah, you have to balance the spiritual with the practical. You have to have both. And, you know, you're, you're very capable of that. You are just kind of being reminded as you step through these steps that, uh, that you'll need a practical plan as well. Now, let's see out of the spellcasting oracle... Financial health. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying with this uh, this Ace of Coins. It is, you know, a new financial material beginning for you. It is, you know, it's definitely things going the right direction, especially with financial health coming out. You know, you guys are going to do fine financially. Those of you that this is not about a relationship, it's about a creative project. It looks so good. You know, you're going to be able to step into it and it's going to be fantastic. For those of you in the relationships where you're, you know, seeing how far you've come, 
um, some of you possibly even being proposed to, whether the proposal is marriage or should we move in together or whatever it is, whatever level you're at in your relationship, there's going to be a proposal soon. Um, that being said, if you are not in a relationship or, you know, are in a relationship that's committed and not going to uh, be having any changes anytime soon, then this can represent a work proposal. It represents a proposal of some kind. Now, let's see what the Tiny Star Seed deck has to add to your reading. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Out of the Tiny Star Seed deck, please. Whoa, way too many. Let's put that King of Wands back. Okay. That is still too many. All right. I'm going to go through them one more time and then I'll, I'll cut to them if I need to. All right, we'll cut to them. You start with channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. That is beautiful. Now, what else? Dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams, so pay attention. Your dreams are important. And finally, guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. That is very true. Your spirit guides are always with you all the time. They're guiding you. You can always call out to them. You're being told to progress into this relationship for some of you. Um, who are concerned about, you know, whether or not to say yes or no to the proposal. For those of you that are starting creative projects, this is beautiful. It's going to bring you financial health. You step into a new financial beginning, all of you. So this looks great. All right. That is all I have for reading number three today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four. Be of service is your first message of the reading. So whatever you do, make sure you're of service to those around you. It will help bring good things into your life. Now, let's see what other spirit messages there are for group number four. You are here for a reason, okay? And inspire others. All right, so you're told to be of service, that you are on this planet for a reason. You have a mission here, and inspire others is part of it. So, using your light to inspire others. Now, let's take a look and see what the tarot has to add. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For the best benefit of group number four, please. All right. Ooh, queen of wands. That means you are stepping into your true, authentic self and somewhere that's going to make you of service to humanity. Ooh, you got the sun. Yeah, you're here for a reason, and it is growth. There is so much growth and positivity in the sun. Now, you also get the five of coins, okay? So this talks about fear. Don't let fear be a part of your daily life. This is fear of loneliness. It's fear of poverty. We'll get an oracle and see what, uh, what steps you out of that fear. And then finally, the moon. So there's some fear around decisions. This says fear. This says fear around decisions. You still have to make those decisions. And the answers are going to be in your actual literal dreams. Now, let's see with moonology how you step out of this five of coins. How do they step out of the five of coins? All right. It's a time for healing. So you need to heal yourself from this fear. Okay? Okay. Heal yourself from the fear of whatever decision you're making, plus the fear of loneliness, the fear of poverty, whatever it is, it's time to heal those fears. Now, let's also get you a spell casting oracle. Trust. 
travel. All right, so some of you are coming into travel. Be safe on your travels. I'm gonna put this healing time up here because it really applies to both of these cards and you just need some healing from the fear. Now, let's see what the Tiny Star Seed deck has to add. Patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So yeah, this is exciting. This is talking about you stepping into your authentic self, being of service, growing with the sun, which is tremendous growth. And you're just being told, hey, have patience. It's all coming to you, but it's moving at the speed of the universe. Now you get inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So pay attention to those thoughts. You're manifesting things. Keep those thoughts positive. Okay? Truth. See your light. Know your power. Have the courage to walk your truth. Okay, yeah. There's fear around some decisions because you're stepping into your true authentic self. Don't be afraid of it. You have the power to walk your truth, okay? And remember that your inner world is reflected in your outer world. So keep those thoughts positive and be patient. All of this good is coming to you. All right, that is all I have from the Spirit Guides for group number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five. Your beliefs are right for you is your very first message. So don't let anyone make you feel like your beliefs are not good enough. And don't try to force your beliefs on anyone. Your beliefs are right for you. And uh, the, anyone who tries to change your mind about what you believe is um, kind of working against you. So just have faith in your beliefs. Now let's see what other spirit guide cards come out. Choose love over fear and kindness counts. Okay, now let's take a look at the tarot and see kind of what this is talking about. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for the best benefit of group number five, please. Okay, so we start with the ace of coins. All right, so you guys have a new financial beginning that... Um, is probably already interacting with you. And next you get the Queen of Cups. That goes with your beliefs being right for you and choose love over fear. This is your emotional maturity. You can choose love over fear. You are strong enough. Now, next we get the High Priestess. Your intuition is playing a huge part in your life right now. So follow that intuition. Make sure it leads you to kindness, but follow that intuition. And finally, you get the Nine of Cups, which is a dream come true. So everything is shaping up beautifully for you. You're being told you've got a new material uh, resource beginning that you may already know about. This could be a new job. It could be a promotion. It could be a creative project that's paying off. Any of those things. The Queen coming out talks about your emotional maturity and how you can deal with all of this, especially your beliefs being for you. If someone tries to push their beliefs on you, you are plenty strong enough to overcome it. Now, choose love over fear. You've got the capacity with the Queen of Cups, and your intuition is guiding you with the High Priestess. For kindness counts, the universe is bringing you a dream come true. Like, this is a wish come true in the Nine of Cups. But just remember, kindness is the, I mean, kindness is almost like love. <clears throat> you need to show kindness in all things and it'll come back to you. Now, let's get a Moonology card to see what that adds. Luck is on your side. All right, yeah, no, it does look like luck is on your side. Things are moving beautifully in this situation that's gonna bring you into the abundance with this ace of coins. Now let's see what the spell casting oracle has to add. 
Lighten your load. All right. So some of you carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, let go of some of that. You're not in control of what happens to other people, of what happens in other places. Really, you're only in control of your reaction, your um, decision to react or to take action from this overwhelming feeling. So let go of some of that weight you're carrying around you are stepping into something new now. Now let's see what the star seeds have to add. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors from the star seed deck. All right, we'll cut to them. First, you get light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. All right, you are a light. It's time to reveal that light. Next, you get abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. So be of service. It's going to bring in this abundance for you. And, well, that one fell all the way to the ground. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. You got wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. All right, so if you, yeah, kindness counts. This wisdom says whoever stands against you, whatever adversarial thing you have going on, just know that it's a chance for you to spread your light, for you to show how positivity can work. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.